Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How are my people? I have missed you guys so much. I've heard from a lot of you that you have really missed my daily Facebook lives and I have to tell you, I have too. Like I've really missed them. But I also have to tell you that that is not something that anybody could keep up for any length of time because it was a whole lot. But it was really fun while it lasted. And I don't know how things are going in your part of the country, but here in Wisconsin, we're pretty much opened back up now. And things are going pretty decent here. Um, haven't seen a lot of news lately on restrictions, so I think we're doing okay here. I see Kathy coming in and Karen and Jody and Connie and Rhonda. Rhonda said I made it on time for a change. Yay you, Rhonda! <laughs> Haley just stopped over. She's picking up some stuff to take home to work on and I just found out that I thought what was little trash pieces sitting on her piercing mat was not. <laughs> and I put it in the garbage. But in my defense, I have been watching a lot of hoarders lately, and that does tend to make you clean up a little bit more, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it keeps you like, oh, I don't want to be a hoarder. So that's my trashy TV lately. I'm really quite a trashy TV, TV girl. I like to watch, like, um, Cops Live and PD Live and... 90 Day Fiance and Naked and Afraid and Hoarders. <laughs> it's just stuff that I don't have to pay really close attention to because I've always got a TV on someplace. So yeah, I was watching a lot of Hoarders today and it was horrible and I'm glad I'm not one of them. But my husband has called me a hoarder before and I'm like, oh dude, you do not even know. <laughs> yeah. So whether you're coming in um, right now live on Facebook or watching later on YouTube, please click on that share button, share my video. That really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and also um, click on that notification bell if you're on YouTube because that will then... Um, You'll, you'll subscribe to me and then click the bell and then YouTube will give you a notification whenever I have a new video pop up. Bonnie says they're not completely open yet. Yeah, I know it's um, it's going, it's different all over the world really. So Lisa says she loves 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, Haley watches that one too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really a trashy TV girl. Like, I like to watch stuff I don't have to pay close attention to. And all of those things that I just said, I don't have to pay very close attention to. You put some type of a show on where it's kind of, you know, like a diabolical mystery or something, I'm completely lost. I'm not going to lie. And Andy said they're completely shut down in Washington. I'm so sorry. Like, this is going so long, right? And I really feel for you guys. Um, yeah, we're kind of almost back to normal. Things are still a little weird here, but people are out doing things. Our stores are open. Our restaurants and bars have opened back up. Um, I haven't gone to eat any place, but I'm sure I will soon. <laughs> yeah, because you know how much I missed lunch, right? So we have a few things going on. Uh, let's see. First of all, we have the pick a free bundle. And I know you guys, this is backwards. Let's mirror my, I'm going to mirror my screen. We're going to see how this goes. If you guys can tell I'm back on Facebook Live tonight. I'm not using Zoom. And um, I had several people on my YouTube channel tell me that they weren't going to watch me anymore because the sound was a little tinny. And sometimes when I flip the camera around, it was blurry. And um, I really ask that you guys, I, I ask you for a little grace and a little patience. Um, I'm working my tail off here for you. And if things aren't working just right, I don't want to hear I'm quitting. Like, like you need to like cut me some slack. Um, 
give me a chance to get things fixed. I don't want anything to be less than perfect either. So just know that. I appreciate it when you say, hey, your sound is a little tinny or when you flipped your camera around, it was blurry. Um, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. I really appreciate that a lot because I need to know what's going on. But when you're just like, I'm not gonna watch you anymore. It's like, really? Ooh. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on that subject. Anyways, I just flipped my camera around. I don't see any flashing, so Facebook and um, Apple have corrected that problem, whoever was making that happen. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I need to see your comments. Somebody just said something about a little, um, something that's lighthearted on Netflix, and oh, I missed it because your post didn't, Tell me the whole thing. Drop Dead Diva. Drop Dead Diva. Okay, thank you. I'm always looking for new things to watch. Like I'll do, um, what do they call that when you like watch, watch, watch on Netflix? Binge. I'll binge watch. <laughs> thank God Haley's here. <laughs> I'll binge watch stuff on Netflix and Amazon. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, it just gets a, like, people get so cranky, like, Bam, I'm done with you. And I'm like, really? Because I, I think I've been doing a really good job. We just ran into a problem and you're just going to like kick me to the curb? Hmm. Doesn't sit well with me. I'm a Midwest girl. You know I don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> pick a bundle. We got pick a free bundle, you guys. If anybody has been hesitant um, to... Join my team as a discount shopper. It is a fabulous time to do that. Right now, on top of being able to choose $125 in any product you want for $99 with free shipping, you get to pick a free bundle. And that means one of our bundles, a stamp set and a set of dies, or a stamp set and a punch. You get that on top of $125 worth. So you're looking at $60, about another $100 worth of product for $99. So around $200 you can choose for $99. It's it's just a fabulous promotion. If you've ever considered it and you're like, oh, I don't know, give it a try. You have nothing to lose. If you have a wish list that's around $100, go for it. Being on my team is super fun. You get a free bundle. You'll get to check it out. If it's not for you, again, no strings attached. You'll love it. So join my team. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. All right, then. I wanted to get to our winners tonight because we have a whole bunch of things going on. I do have a ton of mail here that I want to share with you, but I'm going to do that when we're done stamping. Just in case some people can't stick around, you can always come back and watch the replay. And thank you guys so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. I just want to let people know that when you say things like that, it affects people, me. And um, try to be a little more kind. That's all I ask. And patient. Okay, so remember, um, maybe you didn't catch this, but last this last Wednesday, I did my first back, wait, what? Wednesday tip video, and I talked about the adhesive strips that Stampin' Up! has that are new. So if you missed that, you can find it on my blog, astampabove.com. But I said that I would give the stamp set away, and I used this set as an example on how to use those little um, strips. I've actually got... I cut some off and put them in here for the winner because I did not put strips on all of the stamps. And our winner, and I said I would draw that winner from comments left on my YouTube channel or my blog. I picked a winner and that person is, their screen name is Green Mountain Girl 05. Yay! So I already left a reply to her comment on my YouTube channel. And if you watch this, I need your address because I don't have it. But I'm going to be shipping this off to Green Mountain Girl 05. Yay! Congratulations! Then, last week from my Facebook Lives, you know I always do three drawings. Oh, Diana says, funny joke too. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. I have a whole bunch of um, CQ 2020 jokes to share with you guys. I hope they don't get old, but I have to say, they made me giggle. So, I always like that. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, every Wednesday I have a tip video on my blog and I also have a joke of the week every Wednesday and I stopped doing that while I was doing the 
um, series of Facebook Lives every day during the quarantine. And I've picked it up again, and I have a whole bunch of new stuff and new tips to share with you guys, but I also have some pretty funny jokes. So you'll have to make sure on Wednesdays you check that out. You can also subscribe to my blog in the right-hand column. There's a place where you can put your email address in there and subscribe. So um, next, we have winners for, I, I give away three prizes minimum every week on my Facebook Live. One is for commenting. So if you're new to me, make sure you're leaving a comment so that I can put you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. The other way is for sharing my video. So click on that share button. You can do that right now. And the other way is when you place an order with me. So for commenting last week, I have some holiday rhinestone jewels. I love these. I love the pretty colors. And Debbie Hicks from Tennessee is our winner from last week. So Debbie, I do not have your address. If you could please contact me via email. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. Pop me an email with your address so I can get these out in the mail to you. And then, whoops, I have, the, I have got the envelope ready to go. I just need an address. Next, we have, for sharing my video last week, Vicki Jakubiak, you are my big winner. I do have your address and I have your package ready to mail out. I even got the label on it and it's weighed and ready to go. So congratulations, Vicki. You're gonna get some of this artisan paper that is oh mm. so pretty. I love this stuff. Haley's over there going, mmm, she loved it too. And last but not least for Placing an order, I have one more little ladybug stamp set left, and I'm super excited to be sending this to Maria Hansen of, I don't know how to say this, Ar Arroyo Grande, California? I don't know. California. Marie Hansen of California. I do have your address, and I have, oh, hang on, what is this? Oh, um... Ooh, what happened? Oh, here we go. I don't want to get this stuff mixed up. I have yours all ready to go also. So congratulations, Marie. And then it keeps going, folks. I have um, Kathleen Merleno was the winner of my next $10,000 increment to get to my million dollars in sales. We did that last week, but I didn't pick something to send. Kathleen, I have that another one of those adorable paper pumpkin double stamp sets going out to you in the mail tomorrow. So congratulations. And Kathleen is from Parma, Ohio. So woohoo. Next, we have a little bit more celebrating to do, you guys. Guess what we get to do? <laughs> I know. We get to tear off $970,000 in career-to-date sales. And Haley's like, oh my gosh. So here is the next one. You guys, I only have $30,000 left to get to my million-dollar career-to-date sales. And I'm so excited. So I'll be doing a drawing and giving away something fabulous. So I'll set this back here so I don't forget to do that. And I'll announce it sometime in the future here, probably next Sunday. But um, I just got the email from Stampin' Up! that asks me a million questions. And they sent me an email saying, you're getting really close to your million. We have a questionnaire to make your whole million dollar experience, you know, a lot more fun and more personalized. So they've sent me a questionnaire. I don't know what I did with it. Uh Oh, I don't know where it is, but it's, oh, I think I do know where it is. I think I took it up north with me so I could start filling it out, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. Do you know what's still not done? Can anybody guess what I still don't have done? Um, My taxes. <laughs> yeah, I still don't have my taxes done, you guys. Oh, this week, I promise, this week. Um, So here's the, here's the little questionnaire that they send and it says million sales achiever questionnaire and it asks like what is your favorite type of food um, are there any foods you avoid we are known for our amazing pillow gifts during our incentive trips and we want to treat you to a fun gift while you're here 
what's your favorite purse or wallet brand? What purse or wallet fabric or colors do you like best? What's your favorite designer series paper? What's your favorite Stampin' Up! product? What's your favorite type of music? What's your favorite flower? And I mean, it goes on and on and on. Like, they really personalize this thing. Now, the one thing I can tell you, and I need to leave this out so I remember to fill it out and get it back to them. The one thing I can tell you is that I think the trips are being postponed right now. So I don't know when I'll be able to go. I know Haley's like, I don't know when I'll be able to go on my trip, but I'm okay with it. Um, I'd rather not go in the summer because we love summer here in Wisconsin and we want to get the most out of it. And Jean just said taxes. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'd rather not go in the summer. And then of course, fall is a crazy time for me because it's hunting season. So... I'm kind of okay with it being postponed. So just know that I'm fine with it. Okay, next thing I wanna to mention to you before we get stamping, and I have some great cards to share with you tonight. I think all of my cards are masculine. We have Father's Day next weekend. And I'm really sorry, this is coming to you a little late for Father's Day, but um, a lot of you probably have the stamp sets that I'm going to be featuring anyways. But it's going to give you some great ideas. I have a fabulous layout that you're going to love. And I kind of, for Father's Day, I need to be more on top of the holidays that don't apply to me. And I say that with all love. Um, but my father's gone. So what used to be a like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do for Father's Day? What am I going to do? I got to make a card and I got to make this and I got to make that. And now I don't have to make anything. So... Um, I need to be more on top of the holidays like that. So I will try to do better, I promise. But I have some great masculine cards and any of my cards that I'm making tonight um, are going to be, you can make them for birthday cards or whatever. So it's not just specific to Father's Day. And um, everybody keeps asking me what stamp set I want to have designed. Like what is my stamp set going to be? Uh, Val's oh, Val's watching me. Hi, Val. Granny's here. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll stop that. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I always say. Granny, Granny, Granny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I don't really feel Granny-ish, but when I'm with her, I do. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what my stamp set's going to be like. I have no idea. I just... You know, one thing that I thought about that I think Stampin' Up! needs that we don't have is... Um, I love it when we have a stamp set that has the word summer, autumn, winter, and spring in it. So I don't know what to do with that. Oh, and Lori says something with the crown. Somebody else said something with bear, deer, and something else. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I, I don't know. I'm all over the place. You guys know that I'm like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Maybe I should do squirrel. No, I'm not. I don't like squirrels. They're like rats with tails. <laughs> Did I just say that? Um, anyways, yeah, I'm all over the place. I don't really have a specific thing, except I love fonts, right? I love big words. I love big word stamps, and I love funky fonts. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Um, last but not least, before we start stamping, you guys know that I just had my first, um... Yeah, and I see a lot of people have also lost their fathers. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it, when you come up on that? But you know what? I don't get sad on Father's Day. I just have fond memories, and I think about it as I was really lucky to have a great dad. And he was wonderful, and I miss him, but he wouldn't want me to be sad. And Rhonda says Steve needs a Father's Day card. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> So, you want to hear about that, Rhonda? <laughs> You guys are not going to like this. When it was Mother's Day a few weeks ago, um, Steve did not get me anything. He usually does, but he didn't get me a card. He didn't get me a gift. And when I said, you didn't get me anything for Mother's Day, he said, you're not my mother. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> like, snap. <laughs> so... I can tell you that I already bought him a Father's Day gift quite a while ago, and it was a new gas grill. Hmm. So, I'm not making him a card. I'll probably give him a card, but don't tell him. 
Yeah, so he was kind of snotty about it. I wasn't very impressed. Sometimes they have those little snotty moments, don't they? Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> we have the better. Nothing's better than bundles. So this is one of the bundles you could get free if you decided to join as a discount shopper. You can pick any one you want. But this is my newest online class. This is my June kit class. And um, what it includes is a roll of this gorgeous crinkled whisper white seam binding. And I love this ribbon because you can make it any color you want. And then, let me get these cards out of the way. You get a half a pack of the Bold Bright Designer Series paper. Isn't that pretty? You're also going to get two of our mini paper pumpkin boxes in your kit. These are fabulous. I love them. Easy to put together, fun to decorate. You're also going to get in your kit, this is stuff is all included. Hang on, you guys, I'm having a hard time here. So many people say their husband says that too. <laughs> so my husband is the only butthead husband saying that. Like, I gave birth to your child. You should be buying me presents constantly. <laughs> Whatever. I can buy my own presents. Anyways, you also... I know, I'm like, okay, sorry. I went off on a little tangent there. Yeah, it does. It irks me a little bit. Um, you also are going to get a um, dispenser and a stamp and seal. This is our new adhesive, so you're going to get to try that out. All of that stuff. So we've got... oh. And, hang on, Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends. These are our brand new Stampin' Blends that just came out with the new catalog. So all of that stuff for $49. Now, if you don't have the stamp set and die set, you're going to need it. If you already have it, you can just get the kit. But if you need this, you can add this on and I will put it in with your kit um, for an additional $56. And that's what it costs me to get it here and it'll be included in the cost of shipping your kit to you. So all of that can be found on my blog, and there's a buy now button that you can um, choose to order that. And then, did you guys happen to see the really cute cards that I made with this bundle? Yeah, isn't that adorable? Oh, let me show you my, whoops, let me get it right set up. Here's my envelope, and it says, today is a cocktails kind of day. And then love you more than cocktails. Isn't that super duper cute? This uses like all the stuff from the kit. Now this is a stamp set that's different. Notice the great big giant greeting. I love those kind of greetings and I love these fonts. So that, set, that stamp isn't included, but um, this was just one of the cards that I made. I already showed you guys how to make this on a um, video on my blog. So this isn't part of the kit. You're going to get four different ideas. And this is just made in a different color combination. And isn't that super sweet? But the ribbon is that Whisper White crinkled seam binding. And I colored it yellow and purple. So now um, if you'd like to order that kit, get your order in by the 19th to have it guaranteed. I am planning on um, making up extras, just so you know, because I have a whole year with this kit now, so that makes it nice. And somebody asked for an update on John. Well, I would be happy to give you a John update. However, John has been up to nothing. <laughs> like, I haven't seen him leave. I haven't seen him come home. Steve hasn't told me anything about John. I've got nothing. I don't know what's going on with John. Okay, uh, Debbie says, I have a question in regards to the snail replacement. Does the refill fit in the snail container? Yeah, I don't think so. I think you need to you, you need this whole thing. And then you can order refills. So, no. I'm pretty sure this will not fit. But you know what? I don't want to be a liar. Um, Haley, yeah. in the cup up there right behind you. Oh, wait, maybe I have one. Hang on. They're in that garbage can right there. Grab them. Garbage There's can. nothing in there except paper. There's a lot of stuff in here. Really? Like what? A lot of stuff. Oh. A lot of scraps. She's not digging through the garbage. Wasn't she just a little snooty? I get paid by the hour. She gets paid by the hour, she just told me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't 
know who that girl is. I would totally dig through the garbage. Whatever. I would. For 25 tiny little pieces. Okay, this does not fit in the old dispenser. Okay, so no, you cannot use the old dispenser. You got to buy a new one. And now I got to get this back together. <laughs> oh my, what have I done? Hang on. Oh, look, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It was not hard. I just needed to get it in the right hole. <laughs> that was naughty. Okay, here we go. So anyways, you get one of these in your kit. It's gonna be a long night, folks. <laughs> okay, yeah, Haley, everybody thinks you're pretty funny too. <laughs> Take it to the garbage. Whatever. Okay. Are we ready to stamp, you guys? Oh, let me get this back here, too. I don't want to lose. So I'll file a complaint. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> You're going to file a complaint? Yeah. The Better Business Bureau or the Fair Labor Act Union or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think we're ready to stamp. So, you guys, this is my basket of mail. We're going to start going through this at the end. And I'll do some, and then I'll do some next week. And what's, Debbie wants to know what's in my drink. <laughs> Look at her. She won't dig through the trash. I don't understand it. No. You have food in there? They're like the tiniest little scraps. They are little. I would totally dig through the garbage. There's a lot of scraps in there, though. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> um, hmm. So somebody just asked me something. What did she want? What did I just say before you came over by me? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. So, oh, Debbie asked me what I had in my drink tonight. Just smart Alec. Yeah, strawberry no. lemonade. That's what it is. I know Haley walked in here like a minute before I'm ready to go live and starts asking me questions. You know what I said to her? I can't do this right now. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> Yeah, folks, it's just strawberry lemonade. I'm not even kidding about that. I am this sassy on just nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't add alcohol very often to all of this. Yeah, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> it does get a little crazy. Haley just goes, yeah, it gets a little crazy. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Mary likes your outfit, Haley. Meyer. Meyer. She got it at Meyer. I like Meyer, too. Okay, so I'm getting out my um, my stuff here so we can actually stamp. I know you guys want to just chit-chat with me. Uh, no, <laughs> just kidding. But we are going to actually stamp. And let me get all my bits and pieces out. Oh, this first card that I'm going to make is... I created this for my Technique Club. And that's an online club that I do. Every month I make a Technique card. And then I also do an instruction card with a sample of the technique on it. So card with the technique, instruction card with a sample of that technique. So you can accumulate after you've been in it for a while. Of course, you're going to get one every month, but you accumulate all these cards. And I've shown you guys these before. So you've got a sample of the technique and then how to make it. Again, sample of the technique, how to make it. Same thing here, same thing here, and so on. So... This is my technique card for May. And for those of you that are in my technique club, you guys know I'm pretty transparent. I don't try to like hide things from you or whatever. I am running a little behind. So um, I have all of my technique cards. They're usually supposed to go out last week, but I didn't get them done yet. I have them all cut and ready to roll. They're going to be um, made tonight and tomorrow and out in the mail Tuesday or Wednesday. So just know that if you're in my Technique Club, your cards are coming. Um, you place an order, you place an order once a month, minimum $25 each month for six consecutive months, and then you get the card in the instruction sheet. I'm pretending here. And um, at the end of that six month time frame, you'll get a $30 credit in any product you want from me. Yay! So that is called my Online Technique Club. If you would like to be a part of that, I'll try to remember when we're done here to post the link to that club. You can check out all the details. Then all you do is email me and say, Kelly, I'm in. And I will um, pop you an email confirming that I have you. Okay, so 
I think. Hang on, let me get things sorted out here a little bit. And I got I feel some embossing powder <laughs> hanging out. Okay, I think we're ready to rock here. Yep, we are. I'm going to turn the camera around now, you guys, and we are going to get busy with some stamping. So hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. <laughs> I know, I love to say that. Um, I'll tell you when you can open them. Hang tight. If you guys want to see what's happening over there, Haley's working. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on. I have to mirror my screen again. Mm, there we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. You guys can open your eyes. Who loves this stamp set? This is called Whiskey Business. And it is right up my alley because you guys know I love a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with Olives. Yeah. And as I was looking at this stamp set and working with it, I found it kind of funny. I'm like, what the heck is this? What is that? It's not bacon. <laughs> that would be Bloody Mary, wrong drink. But it, I'm like, what is that? I think that's the orange peel that you're supposed to put in an old fashioned. I could be wrong. If you guys know something different that I don't know, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So we have your top shelf because, of course, whiskey is a top shelf beverage. Well, some of it is. <laughs> Cheers to you. Sending you an old-fashioned birthday card. Being a dad is whiskey business and straight up you're the best. So we've got a brandy or whiskey snifter. I think that's what these are called. You guys can tell I'm not a big drinker, right? But I do love an old-fashioned, not going to lie. We have an old-fashioned. This is an old-fashioned tub. This is what we serve them in. We have this wood image and then this thing, which I think is... Um, what do they call that? A thing of orange. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I think it's a piece of orange rind. That's yeah, what I think it is. Okay, good. People are telling, Haley's telling me, people are agreeing with me. Okay, good. Um, did somebody ask something about dino days? What's that all about? Debbie, I don't know. I missed it. So if you want to, yeah, it's a twist. There you go. Thank you, Kelly. It's a twist. Yeah, orange twist. Orange twist with the old fashioned. So, um, in here you've got a birthday greeting. You've got just some great, you know, your great greetings. And then we've got being a dad is whiskey business. So, you've got Father's Day and birthday in here. Just great for masculine cards. Now, I am going to get out my silver embossing powder. This is our piercing mat for those of you that may be new to me. I just take it and I tape some um, printer weight paper on it and to, just to cover it up so I'm not stamping directly on my mat. But I like to use this to stamp on. Oh, and for those of you that are new to me, this is my current host code. If you would like to place an order, you'll find my online ordering button on my blog. And then you're going to use this host code when prompted. If your order is under $150, if your order is over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have those. Someone wants to know if the techniques are never repeated, how can you get some of the older ones? Um, yeah, somebody just asked, if the techniques are not repeated, how can you get some of the older ones? Well, it's not to say that I won't ever repeat them. I just haven't had to yet. Um, and can you get some of my old technique cards? No, I do not make them. I do not sell them. That is not an efficient use of my time. I'm really sorry, but just watch in the future. You'll have lots of techniques to go by and yeah, maybe I'll start using them over because it's been a very, very long time since I've done some of them. Some of them. It might be nice to see them with new product because that's always kind of cool. It's a whole different ball game when you have different product to use. But thank you for asking that question. But you can join and move forward. And then I also have a lot of demonstrators who ask me if they can get just that technique card. They'll pay me for it. Nope, I don't do that. And again, it's not an effective use of my time. So... Just know you are welcome to copy and you can make exactly what I'm doing. So feel free to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm always willing to share that. Okay, so 
I have Knight of Navy, five and a half by eight and a half, and we're just gonna fold this in half and burnish that edge good. I also have a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. All of these dimensions can be found tomorrow after I get all the pictures loaded up on my blog. Sometimes when we have a little bit of blurriness going on with um, Facebook or Zoom or YouTube or whatever, you're always going to find crystal clear photos of these projects on my blog tonight or tomorrow, right after I get done doing a live. And who just said that? Kathy just said it's called a whiskey decanter. Yes, you are correct. You know, See, I don't know all my boozy terms. <laughs> I'm just not much of a boozer. I know it sounds like I drink a lot, but I really don't. She doesn't. I can <laughs> confirm. Haley just said she doesn't. I can confirm. I will have a margarita once in a while in an old-fashioned. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we are going to do a little work here. Oh, I forgot this embossing folder. Hales, can you grab me this embossing folder? It's in the back of that tub that's right behind you on the floor, I think. Okay. All right, so um, I've got, nope, it's the like textured, weavy looking oh, okay. one. I've got a piece of basic gray here that's four by five and a quarter. Is it in there? Tasteful textile? Yes. Okay. And we're going to be using the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. And this just looks like, kind of like fabric, you guys. I've used it before. We're going to put this inside here. We're going to run it through the Big Shot with the blue platform on top. This is one of those 3D folders. So just the blue platform on top. And then, through the magic of TV, this is what it looks like. I hope you can see the texture in this because it's really very pretty. It's subtle, but it's there and I love it. Okay, where is my, um... oh my lord. Oh, here it is. <laughs> like, where is my sample card? I can't find it. I need to know what I'm doing. Okay, <clears throat> then I have a three quarter inch by four inch piece of whisper white. Haley's laughing at me right now. Where did that punch go? The, the, the label punch. I just had it. Nope. Hang tight, you guys. Is it this thing? Take a drink. Nope. I had that punch here and now. Someone wants to know if you okay. don't drink much, then why are you building a tiki bar? Because her family drinks a lot. Yeah, my family's a bunch of drinkers. <laughs> a bunch of lushes. <laughs> it's a really good question. I just like having people over. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I'm kind of a people person. <laughs> I like to have people over. The more the merrier and having this cool bar out there. I also love to have parties. So we have a lot of pool parties and having this cool bar in my backyard is going to bring people and um, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, I'm not really a big drinker, but yeah, I am having a tiki bar in my backyard. Okay, so back to back to stamping and away from alcohol. <laughs> so we've got three quarters of an inch by about four, and I am going to use this. There's two different label punches in here. And by the way, these are called Lovely Label Pick a Punch. And today I had um, Andy put labels on for me. And when I stuck it on here, it says Lovely Labes oh, Pickup Punch. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. I left it on there. But it's really called Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And you get <laughs> you get three different sizes on each side here. So I like to punch mine out first so I know what I have left to work with. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Punch that. Look at how cool that is. This one does a different shape on the end. I hope you can see that. Do you know who Andy is? Bron I'm sorry, not Andy. It was Molly. Did I say Andy? You did. I meant Molly. You guys know who Molly Jo is. She's my granddaughter. She belongs to Anna. And she came over last night to stay overnight. This is Night of Navy Ink, by the way. And um, she stayed overnight, and I put her to work. She, and that's what she says. Grandma, do you have anything for me to do? So let me show you what she did. She die cut all of these for me because she loves playing with the big shot. You guys, look oh. at these wreaths. 
Those are pretty. So I have no idea yet what I'm going to do with them. I just know that I love them. So I'm, <laughs> I know I had her like punch me 25 of them and I'm going to use them for an upcoming swap because I have, I'm in several swaps. So no clue what I'm doing with them yet, but aren't they cool? Yeah, we're going to be playing with those. I don't know what that stamp set is called. It's a bundle. Um, it's got a wreath in it and it's in the new catalog. More details on that later. So anyways, um, she die cut all of those for me. So that was really cool. Okay, we're ready to put this together. I think I need to do more stamping, less talking. <laughs> all right, so here comes our basic gray four by five and a quarter inch layer on our Knight of Navy cardstock using the tasteful textile embossing folder. And then, let's see, um, I am going to stamp the inside with my greeting, being a dad is whiskey business. And I might actually give this to Steve, even though he didn't give me a card because I'm making it and why not, right? So I can just prove to him, should I really say this? I can prove to him once again that yes, I am superior. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't roll like that. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm <laughs> just kidding. He'll get a big kick out of that. Isn't that, do you love that? I love that font. Being a dad is whiskey business. Yeah, I'm kind of sassy tonight. Did you, can you guys tell that I've really missed you? Like doing daily Facebook lives was just a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so I don't like the way that looks. We're going to do that over. Um, it's just not quite, I need to move this over a little bit so I can center this. And I think I like that better. What do you guys think? Do you like this better? Or do you like this? Whoops, this better. Yeah, it, it looks kind of jacked up, right? <laughs> you like my... Yeah, that's redneck talk right there. Okay, I'm going to go with that one that doesn't look like it's off kilter. I like this one. I smeared it a little bit when I stamped it, but it looks fine. And if it didn't, we would start over. Because believe me, I've got a ton of white cardstock here. Oh, that reminds me, you guys... If you ordered, I forgot to mention this, if you ordered the, um, well, let me find one that's current, maybe I don't have one, if you ordered these, the DSP sampler sheets for me, my order just came in on um, Friday, and I was up north visiting my mom, so I'm planning on getting those all cut and made and out in the mail to you hopefully this week, so just know they're, they're coming. I had to wait for my order to get here. Okay, <clears throat> next. We are going to take a scrap of Night of Navy and I'm gonna use Versamark ink with the whiskey decanter. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Okay, phew. I'm like, oh my Lord, help me remember that. I've got Versamark ink here. I'm going to stamp my whiskey decanter and pour the silver embossing powder on it. And I kept this over here so that I would be able to use it. I've still got my cranky old heat gun out here. This, ooh, ooh, see what I just, ooh, there's a naughty finger, I can't do that. Just got some ink oh. on the naughty finger. Hang on, we gotta get that cleaned off. Ooh, I got ink on my hands too. Did you guys notice I painted my nails just for you? Like I just did it before I went live because they looked so horrendous. And these are still my real nails. You can see they're pretty crummy looking. I mean, they look decent with some paint on them, but they're still like all gougy and weird looking and whatever. It is what it is, right? CQ 2020, it's not good for the girls. Okay, we're gonna heat this. And there it goes. Can you see the magic happening? I love to watch embossing. I just think it's so cool. All right. You gotta be careful with these heat guns. Don't leave these plugged in. If you're not using them or like don't leave it plugged in your office because if one of your animals, like a cat or something, um, knocks this on the floor or something, it's you can turn it on and it's not cool because it'll burn your house down. I'm not I'm not lying about that. 
I know a couple of people that it started their bedroom on fire. One lady and somebody else, I can't remember anymore, but some type of fire thing happened. Okay, there's not a die for this, but this decanter is very easy to cut out. Like, there's not a lot of weird, jaggedy whatevers. If you don't like fussy cutting, well, you can stamp this right on your background, I guess. But it's not real fussy. Yeah, it's not real fussy, Haley just said. It's not bad at all. As a matter of fact, I cut out a ton of these today because it's my... Technique Club card. So, what is going on back there? <laughs> I don't know what that was. There was like some hitchhikers on my scissors, I guess. But, yeah. Okay. Wait till you see. Haley designed. Um, I have... My team meeting is Tuesday night. And our card swap theme this month is Fun Folds. And Kathy Miller's in charge of our swap. And she had everybody pick a fun fold so that all of these cards, how many do you have to make, Haley? 25. 25. Or all, 24. 24. All the cards are going to be a different type of fun fold. So we had to pick what we were going to make, and I chose to make um, a freestanding pop-up card. Remember this one from Easter? Remember this? Lisa Neeland made this, and I um, made it for you guys, this freestanding pop-up card. So I chose that with the whale suite. Ha! Ah! So, um, super cute card coming your way soon. I'll make sure, you know, you know I'll share it with you. With the fun fold, which is my favorite. Okay, so I just put some dimensionals on the back of this. Now, here comes our technique. Our technique for the month. Where did my um, instruction card go? Does anybody see that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Oh, here it is. Okay. Whew. Our technique for the month is the scrappy strip technique. And I've made a card with this before. What I did, I should probably get the paper out and show you. So hang tight, just in case you're new. I don't want you to be sitting here going, what in the heck is she talking about? Oh, and guess what I did, you guys, today? Finally, I turned on my Alexa. Is she going to talk to us? Yeah. Um, anyways, I hooked my Alexa up to my phone so that I now have, I bought one a while ago and I wanted it to be my assistant. So now I can start using Alexa and she's not talking to me, which is Making kind of like weird. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So what I did here is I'm cutting strips of the designer series paper. Okay. So these are not straight strips. They're rather angled back and forth, back and forth. And I just, I just put them in here and I, and I cut it this way and then I cut it and then I cut it and then I cut it and then I cut it. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to bring in these little strips. <clears throat> I decided to use the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This is all like different, um, what would you call this? There's like brick. There's wood grain, all different kinds of textures. Look at that. Yeah, isn't that cool? Huge, huge pack that. of paper. Haley's like, oh, she loves this one. I'm Here's some that scrapbooking. colored burlap. She can't wait to do some scrapbooking with this. Oh, and by the way, somebody had asked me if I could take some photos of her scrapbook pages and put them all in one place. And she brought her scrapbook back over, so I'll be doing that pretty soon so you guys can have still shots of them. I've showed them to you on here, but I know people want to see them up close. Okay, so you're going to decide what size of layer you want here. And this one is actually, um, let me think about this. This is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And that's just the size I decided I wanted. So I'm going to put glue on the back of one of my little strips here. And this goes from the top to the bottom, just like that. And then you're just going to grab another one and add a little glue. And now I'm going to turn this one around. This is the wider part at the bottom and the thinner part at the top. Now I'm going to do just the opposite and leave a little space in between the two. Now, my friend Bruno 
Bertucci is the one who came up with this technique, as far as I know. I've never seen anybody else do it. But then one of my team members happened to do a demonstration at our team meeting, which by the way, my team meeting is virtual, so everybody can attend no matter where you live. I just had a brand new demonstrator sign up, my first demonstrator in Hawaii. So welcome, Corrine, if you're watching tonight. But yeah, so um, one of my team members showed how to make this technique on our team meeting, and then I made one with it, and now I decided it would make a great technique for my technique club. So I'm making just a different card here. Now, if you need to, you can flip this over on the back and trim that paper if it's running over at all. That side looks pretty good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this. We're going to add this to our card front. Hang on, I'm scrolling through, okay. All right, I see some of you are answering some questions for me. Thank you very much, I always appreciate that. I'm mm -hmm. going to put this right here on the side and then here comes our um, uh, label. I'm gonna add dimensional to that. And these are the edges, by the way, you guys. Don't throw those edges away because they work just as good as the rest of the dimensional, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go right here with this. And I think I need to just trim a little bit of this off. I'm just gonna cut it off because now we're gonna come in. I put dimensionals at the top and the bottom of my decanter. And now I'm gonna go like this. Oh my goodness, look how cool that is, right? Hang on. I have embellishments someplace. Um, I think, yep, I put them all in the bin. <laughs> okay, these are the Elegant Faceted Gems and they come in clear, like a petal pink and then frosted. And I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick tool and we're gonna take the clear ones and I'm gonna put one here that's a big one. Here's a small one. And here's a, whoops, hang on. I just grabbed the frosted. I want the clear one. And just wherever. But I thought that would make just a really neat embellishment on this card. And there we go. Being a dad is whiskey business. Straight up, you're the best. So what do you guys think? Yay! Did you do your inside? Yes, I did my inside. Here's my inside. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do an envelope. That makes me sad. Um, yeah, let's, let's do something with an envelope. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean my stamp here. If you don't have one of these chamois, I highly recommend them. It's called chamois, S-H-A-M-M-Y. When you go to place an order, type it into the search, it'll come up. But these are the best stamp cleaners I've, ever owned. Like, I love it. You just rinse it out in water. I don't know why or how it works. It's like magic, but it cleans your stamps and it takes very little upkeep. I'm going to use this. I'm going to stamp that in the Night and Navy and I'm going to put this right on the front. Oh my gosh, look how cool that looks, right? I love the detail in this bottle. Okay, so here's our card. Here's our decorated envelope, and then this is what my technique card looks like. And again, it has the title, Scrappy Strip Technique. It says, choose a pack of designer series paper or coordinating colors of cardstock for your scrap strips. Cut a piece for the base that is the length you want to adhere the strips to. Your sample card is three and a quarter inches tall. Cut strips of DSP or cardstock, angling them as shown on the sample. Adhere the strips to your cardstock bake, base and use as a layer on the front of your card. <clears throat> See a video on my blog on 615, which is tomorrow, and that's where I'll get all this loaded up on my blog. But this is the card that everybody's going to get for May. Now, May this was last month, and this is the technique instruction card with a sample of the technique on it that everybody's going to get that's in my technique club. So again, if you would like information on being in there, let me know. 
I am happy to provide that to you. I think I'll post it after the video. Oh, let me leave these out here. After the video is done, I will um, post a link to that technique um, information on my blog. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. Now I've got a two, I've got, I think, three more cards. We're going to make one together, and then I have two different samples to share with you. I know, right? I was I was on a roll today, I'll tell you. I did really yeah, good. I didn't see these ones yet. No, you haven't seen them yet. Okay. So, oh wait, I gotta get this put away. We're still cleaning and putting away. You guys, take a drink. If you need to run to the bathroom, now is a good time. We could do a little intermission. Should I do a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> like, make sure you get yourself one of my card kits for the month. Oh. I can talk to you a little bit about my other online class. So every month I have a card kit, and the other class that I do is just an online class. We're going to be using the Artistry Blooms suite of products. Oh. Haley loves that one. For the online class, information will be coming out about that soon. So you'll get all the details on that, but that's going to be my next online class. Okay, let me get the stuff put away. And here we go. Did I clean that off? Yep, I did. Okay. All right, next. What's all that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a lot going on here, you guys. Here comes our next card. Put that over here. I'm going to set these aside. I'll bring them back out before we're done. Next, we're going to be using the um, the stamp set called Beautiful World, and this is so, so pretty. It's perfect for your masculine cards also. And it's got a thank you in there, just some general greetings, congratulations. You make the world a better place. Now, what guy isn't going to like to hear that, right? And a whole set of dies that are pretty neat. Got my stamps ready to roll. Oh, and for um, a couple of these cards, I brought in the Tasteful Labels dies. And these are just a new set of labels that I used for the sentiment. So I'll show you all that. Now, as part of the um, suite, this is a whole suite of products. We've got this beautiful early espresso, and this is called a faux suede trim. And it does, it looks like suede. It is so cool. We've also got these antique corners and slide elements. So you have little corners here that you can put on scrapbook pages or cards. And then these slides are what I like to call like little belt buckles, right? happy to see those come back so you get a whole pack of those whoops and the stamp set and the dies and then we have paper and I'm looking for my paper and I don't know where it is oh my lord what did I do with that paper here it is don't worry I found it <laughs> I have some sampler sheets, but I don't know where they are right at the moment. So I'll get those made up so I have them in the future. But look Ooh. at this gorgeous paper. Now this uses brass accents. Look at how pretty that is. And some very masculine designs. I love, love, love this. Mm -hmm. Mossy Meadow is a coordinating color as well as the um, Cinnamon Cider, one of our new in colors. And Bumblebee, another one of our new in colors. Misty Moonlight, another in color. These are absolutely gorgeous. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So this is the World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. And of course it has the coordinating colors right on the back. And that's where I started with the design of my card. I went back here and I said, hmm, Basic Black, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Whisper White. And then I build my card from there. So, let me show you what I came up with.
we are going to be using some of that brass foil. Now this is a new product from Stampin' Up! in this annual catalog. And then I've got some early espresso. Yep, okay. Whisper White, the designer series paper. I haven't actually made this card, so you're going to have to be patient with me because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I know you guys love it. We're going to make this one on the fly. But then I have two more that I have made, so I can show you what's going on there. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to decorate this envelope. And this, these are our Whisper White envelopes. These are really good quality envelopes. Like, they just feel nice when you feel them. They've got like a coating on them. They stamp really nice. Two and a half by six. This is the designer series paper. And I'm just going to add this. I put some glue on the flap of my envelope. And now I turn it over. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I just remembered I haven't eaten since breakfast. How's that? Oh, my Bev is going to yell at me. I made pancakes and sausages yeah, for breakfast. For the invite. Yeah, Haley says, thanks for the invite. Well, it was a last minute thing. Whatever. Molly's like, Grandma, aren't you going to make breakfast? And I'm like, oh, oh. And then your dad's like, are you going to make breakfast? And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, what time was it? Oh, about 10. I hadn't had breakfast yet. Well, I'm sorry. See, now I'm in the doghouse. Dang it. Double doghouse. Double doghouse. <laughs> okay, so we have this really cool envelope. Next, what I'm going to do is I've got, hang on, i got to look at this, piece of early espresso. I'm going to bring in, oh, Haley has my other paper trimmer. I've got this one here. This is a piece of um, early espresso cardstock. Where's my dimensions? Did I ever write those down any place? I thought, oh, here they are. Whew. Okay, hang on, cheat sheet right here, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've got five and a half by five and a quarter. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna score this at whoops, four and a quarter. It doesn't matter which way you go, but I wrote on mine over here so I wouldn't screw this up. I'm not gonna lie. I have a little cheat note here. There we go. So five and a half by five and a quarter scored at four and a quarter. And now we're just gonna take this and fold it just like that. Now this card was actually shown to me, this layout was shown to be by one of my team members again. And isn't it cool that I get to learn so much from my team members? That's I love that about our virtual team meeting is that I get to learn a lot from them. You're going to um, burnish that edge good. Then, let's see, this is the inside. This is Whisper White, four by five and a quarter. What we're going to do here is I've got a piece of our designer paper that's four by five and a half. And I'm going to take this little seam right here, this little tab that's sticking out. Now you don't want to put glue all the way down towards the fold, okay? Just some glue like that. We're going to add this to our card. My team member Christine showed me how to do this. It was um, one of her demonstrations at our team meeting. Now. You get to see both sides of designer series paper when you make a card like this. And don't we struggle so much when we're using designer series paper because you hate to glue down either side. Like if you use this for your front, you're going to glue this down and nobody's going to see it. This way you can see both sides of that designer series paper. And I thought this was so very clever. Now I see I didn't cut this very good. <laughs> Got it a little crooked, so I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. There we go. Looks good. Okay? So, that's what we're doing with this. Then, we're going to get out some of these amazing elements from the uh, world map dies. I'm going to take this one and die cut it on a three-quarter by five and a half inch strip of brass foil sheets. And these are new with this catalog and they are a complimentary coordinating product to go with this whole suite. So I'm going to die cut that. Let's see what else am I going to do here. I am also going to, hmm, I think I will take this world 
and I'll die cut that on some early espresso. And then I'm going to get this globe stand and die cut that on some more brass foil paper. And then through the magic of TV, I've already done this. So we're going to add this element and isn't this just cool? All these little bits and pieces fell right out of here and that's exactly the way I like a die to work. Mm -hmm. You wanna be careful when you're using glue with foil that you don't get the glue on the front because it is not attractive. And there we go. Push that down. Look at how cool that looks, you guys. Is that not so neat? This is just a very cool element all on its own. Okay, then we die cut this. Okay, so I've got a world here. Or a globe, I guess. I'm just going to call it a world. And then when you die cut this one it just falls apart like this and last but not least there is a circle in here and I die cut a brass circle so this also goes with this whole set of dies let me put these back in here so I do not lose them oh and this one right back in here so these are all the dies that come with the world map set of dies. Okay, so this is the part I haven't done yet. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, look how cool that looks. Like that is just, to me, that is so rich looking. Oh, I see I got a little bit here. Hang on. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. Oh, maybe a little bit. I'm just putting glue where I have some big spots. You could get out your sponge and add glue that way if you want but I'm going to chance it because I'm a professional. No, I'm just kidding. I love saying that. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I'm a professional. Okay, so here's our world, and isn't that, like, that's fancy stuff, right? And then here comes this part, and this goes right over top. So this isn't sticking that great right here, so let me get a little bit more glue in there. Hope it doesn't ooze out all over. Eh, not too bad. Just gonna hold it for a second so it gets glued down. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so you want to make sure your globe is right side up. I think that's the United States right there, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not. Haley's laughing at me over there. Look at Haley. You don't know what that is. You're in it all. So, no. She just said, you're right, I don't. Okay, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> She's always so quick to laugh at her mother. All right, we're going to put a little bit of glue on this brass stand, and I just think this is so incredibly classy. Let's see if I can meh, get it to stick. Put this on here, right? Um, ah. Okay, so I didn't glue this down yet. Hang on. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be smarter than your paper. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's really pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? Oh, we want to make sure that our globe is right side up. Oh, that doesn't need any repairs. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at how cool that is, you guys. You want to see it? Look how cool yeah. it is. Oh, I love ah! it. I know, I do too. Okay, it's so super pretty. now I'm not really quite sure what else I should be doing here. Is this part of your scrappy technique? No, it's oh. not part of my scrappy technique. But here's our inside white layer. And where did my mat go? Right here. We're going to stamp our words on there. And I'm, sentiment. Yep, I'm going to bring in um, early espresso ink. Hang tight. All right, I don't know what I could stamp on the front if I were to put a sentiment on the front. I'm not really sure. But we're going to do You Make the World a Better Place, just like that. And then, where's that other little, here's our little ink spot dealy whopper. We're going to do this. This is a, one of those little ink wells. 
like, you know, that you put the feather pen in. And then I'm going to bring in brand new Misty Moonlight. Love this color. It's like, it reminds me of denim jeans, you guys. That's going to be the color of our feather. So I'm just going to put that right there. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful that is. <clears throat> you have any ideas? No, if you were to do it again, I would tell you, put you make the world a better place on the front, and then thank you for being part of mine on the inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good idea. All right. So there's lots of different things you can do here. This is going to be the inside of our card. Now, I want to tell you guys, I have two more cards to show you using this layout. You will be seeing this layout with the designer paper showing both sides in the future from me because I am not done with this. Like I want to do this in all our designer paper because I think this is so very clever, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this. Here's our matching envelope. How cool is this? Yeah, I absolutely love this. All right, I'm just scrolling up on all your comments. My computer isn't keeping up with them as it usually does not so yeah <clears throat> okay let me show you the other cards here I'm gonna get these closed and oh you know what I can do here hang on I am going to yep I'm gonna add some of these gilded gems I love these gold gems and even though this is brass these still look pretty neat on here these are gold the designer or the um, foiled paper is brass, but this just adds a little element of some embellishments that I think look pretty cool. What do you guys think of that? I like that a lot. Okay, so the other two cards that I made. Here comes the first one. What do you guys think of this? So I used black for my card base. I also used the antique corners up here and down here and that beautiful faux suede ribbon I just zigzagged it behind this now this label is coming from the tasteful label dies and it's just a bunch of really great label dies in here that's what I use to die cut this I use the map paper I also used some of our in-color enamel dots here as an embellishment because they're the um, cinnamon cider color. Again, with the brass, black behind my globe here. And here's the inside. Is that not cool? Like, I think this is so very cool. So there's another card. It's um, kind of the same layout, just a little bit different. And then I have one more here to share with you. This one, I used the Mossy Meadow. I actually embossed this in gold. I don't have any brass embossing powder, but the gold looks great with the brass. I used those gilded gems again and the pattern that has all the compasses on it. I took a one inch strip on my edge inside here. What did I do on the inside of this one? Oh yeah, I showed this to you already. And here's where you can see both sides of that designer paper. And again, both sides of this designer paper. What do you guys think? Is that not cool? I'm really, really happy. This is the other one, Haley. Oh, pretty. And then this is the other one. Pretty. Is that called foil paper? It's called brass foil sheets. I love it. Yeah, she loves gold. Now she's loving the brass. Okay. So very there's striking. that. Here's another man card, you guys. Where did my envelope go? I lost it already. It's here somewhere. We've got four man cards here tonight. And like I said, these can be used for birthday, thank you, <clears throat> um, ooh, get well. Oh, that was lucky. This fell. It was dirty, but it fell onto the foil paper instead of onto my cardstock. And birthday. Birthday, get well, Father's Day, any type of man card. These will work perfectly for that. All right, let me move these out of the way. 
Yeah, somebody just said they didn't think they'd like this set. But yeah, I know. I, I knew I would because I love masculine cards. Like, I love making masculine cards. They're one of my favorite things to do. Some people really struggle with the masculine cards, but I have always found it very easy to create them. Okay, let me get all the bits and pieces put away here because I have a ton of gorgeous mail to show you guys. Can't hardly wait. Okay, get the basket out of the way. This out of the way. These, I love these. Which one is your favorite? Which one do you like the best out of all of these? I am kind of partial to this color. I love this color, mm -hmm. the color scheme there. I just think it's very rich. That color used to be my least favorite, and now I really like it. Yeah, Haley said this color used to be her least favorite, the cinnamon cider, but now she really likes it. Yeah, and I told her right from the get-go, I loved it. Didn't I? You did. I did. I did. But yeah, and I love the black with the green. And I think the blue with the early espresso is just a very masculine color. Love. And of course, I love this technique. So, okay, let's get these out of the way. And I'll show you my fun mail. For those of you that may not be able to stick around, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. And um, somebody just asked me a question, and for some reason my screen won't let me scroll back. Something about putting the corners on. Um, I use mini glue dots, so I rolled a mini glue dot up and I put it under there, and these are really stuck on there, like they're not going any place. So I used a mini glue dot. I hope that's what you wanted to know, I mean. Okay, so let's grab... Where'd my mail bin go? Here it is. Holy cow, you guys. I'm going to go through several of these. I'll save some for the next time. Um, I wanted to let you know, too, I've had several people saying that they really wish that I would do more Facebook Lives during the week, and that is something that I have considered. So I'm not ruling that out. It is something that I might start doing. So just know that. If I can help you upload stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and Haley said she'll be able to help me upload things, too. So... Um, funny little story, when I got back from my coronation to Wyoming, I had a whole bunch of boxes. Like I had been shopping on Amazon while I was gone and all this stuff was delivered and I had an order come in and all kinds of stuff. Well, I opened up all my mail, I put it in this bin here, but then as I was getting ready to clean up the kitchen, I found an Amazon box and what I found in that Amazon box was a mini rechargeable handheld fan and I laughed and laughed and laughed because but how hysterical was this and very much appreciated I'm definitely going to be using it this will plug into my computer look it look it <sighs> so it plugs into your computer and it charges and how funny is this and I think it's also got a stand here. I'll have to figure out how to use it because I really don't know yet. But I will figure it out. Oh, I bet it goes on here somehow. Anyhow, um, this had a gift in it. It said, hi, Kelly. Enjoy your gift. I remember when I had hot flashes. <laughs> LOL. Love you, girl. Thanks for all you do and provide for us. And this is from Linda Morrison of Air in Arizona. <laughs> Linda, thank you so much. I laughed and laughed and laughed. And I am going to use this too. So if you guys see me pop this baby out, you're going to know I am seriously hot. <laughs> thank you so much, Linda. That was so sweet. i got to figure out how to put the stand together. I'm sure there's some little... Yep, there's some little directions. Oh, there's more stuff in here too. I don't know what this is. But I'll figure it out. So I'll get that all put together so it's working. I better put this back in here so I don't lose it. But thank you so much. It was really funny. All right. Then we have this beautiful card from Connie Billerman. And how pretty is that? She used just a little bit of the, what do you call that? Um, the shimmery crystal effects. I can't think of what the real name of it is. I still have some and it's still available, but she put some of that on these leaves. I just thought this was so, so pretty. 
and um, I have read all of these cards so I'm not going to read them to you tonight in hopes that we can get through a lot of them but um, you are very welcome Connie she won a prize thank you so much for this beautiful card then I got a card from SK Wolfsberger from Aurora Colorado and let me make sure I'm holding this the right way this is a hand-drawn, hand-cut-out card, and I just think the colors are so vibrant. Thank you so much. She said, I hope your days are bright and that you have joy. And I so appreciate it. I read your letter also, SK, so thank you so much. Stacy Ray made this card. How fun is this? And again, she is thanking me. She was a winner and is thanking me for her prize. I love this. I love that um, sentimental bundle, that so sentimental bundle that used to die cut this. So very pretty. Then I've got another one here. This is from um, Sharon Chapa. Look at this. This is a neat card. Very pretty. She says, I made you a card because you're worth it. Isn't that neat? I love these fun folds. They're easy, but they're cool. Like they have a lot of wow factor. And you are very welcome. Thank you so much, Sharon. Then I've got a card here from Carla. So Carla stepped over to pick up a couple catalogs and she made this card. One friend can change your whole life. Thanks so much, Carla. You are very welcome, Carla. It was really nice to chat with you and I'm glad you could stop by. And then we've got this one from my friend Sue Molden. Look at how cute this is. And I have to tell you, on the inside it says, card design number 13 in my COVID collection. <laughs> Sue is a very funny lady. I adore her. But she's got a whole COVID collection of cards. Very cute. And then this is from Penny. Penny just recently started a paper pumpkin subscription with me. So Penny Clark sent me this beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, she's got this hello on the inside. That's really cool. Love it. Then we've got... Am I still not breaking up, you guys? I want to see how far I am into this. Hmm. I don't know. It's not telling me yet how long my video is. But usually about an hour in, we started breaking up. An you guys remember? Minutes. Okay, so I'm still not breaking up. So I don't know. I'm hoping that everything's okay. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. This is from Mary Emilio. And look it, it's got um, like window sheet in here and I think that is so so cool what a great idea you guys this is really cool maybe we'll have to make some cards with that I love it she also stamped the envelope for me thank you Mary very neat what have we got in here oh I got a little oh who sent this nah. hang on I might have this messed up now because I don't know who sent me this I know that's not it. I think Mary Emilio sent this. You guys, yes, I believe she did. Oh, yeah, she sent it with a blanket for baby Val okay. that Haley already took home. It was so beautiful and fuzzy and wonderful. Didn't she show her card last week? Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, I think you did. Oh. I remember talking to her. Okay, well, anyways, I got this grandmother's show and tell book. I, I'm pretty sure Mary sent this also, so I'm going to be filling this up with pictures of Val. And um, Mary... I just saw some Snapchats of baby Val with her daddy today, and that blanket is right behind them on the chair. So they are absolutely loving that one. Gorgeous. Then... You should share the picture of Val smiling so big. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Um, I got this beautiful card from my friend Denise, and she is... Um, saying that she can't wait to come over or maybe we can go over to her house and have some drinks on their deck. So, Denise, I'm very much looking Krieger. forward to that. Krieger, yes. Oh. Yes, very much so. Okay, and then, let's see. Um, Ingrid, wonderful Ingrid, Ingrid Harrington, sent these two 
stamp sets for me to give away. She had doubles of them. They're all mounted even, so that's wow. fantastic, right? You don't even have to do that. But I will be putting these in my door prize drawings to give away. So Ingrid, thank you so much. I always appreciate that. And so do my viewers, right? <laughs> yeah. Then we have a card from Susan Reed. Look how pretty that is. I love the way she lifted up that umbrella on here. Absolutely beautiful. And she's just thanking me um, for some ribbon that she got. You are very welcome, Susan. Thank you for the beautiful card. Then I got an airmail. Oh, yeah, this one's pretty neat, you guys. Check this out. Are you ready for this? What? This is from Linda. Look at how cool that is. Can you guys believe wow. this? Like, oh, my Lord. Now it looks like my screen is getting a little crummy, Haley. Nope, I don't see Is it can... still looking good yeah. for you? Okay. Look at how cool that is. Absolutely phenomenal. So I think That's really cool. I'm going to figure this out because I've never made one of these cards. We need to figure this out, don't we, people? Yes, we do, Linda. Thank you so much. Absolutely cool. And this is from Cornwall. And I'm thinking that it's in Asia? Australia? No, I think No, UK. Right. UK, yep. Oh, way to go, Haley. Oh, Haley said she you. thought it was from UK. She's correct. Okay, here comes another one. This is from Deb. No, look at that cute little baby. Cute little baby card. And Deb is a congratulations to Haley and Jared. Enjoy the new family dynamics. Oh Thank you. Super cute. Here comes another one. This is from Terry Mullinex. Look how pretty that is. I love this. I gave her some SU notebooks. Yeah. If you'll remember, Terry shared a whole bunch of new products with us for me to give away. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. And this is coming from my friend Denise again, and I kind of mangled your flower with my paper, my card opener. I'm very sorry, but look how pretty that is. It was really pretty before I mangled the flower. Just trust me on that one. And she says she can't wait for this to be over. I know. Me too. We're going to do lunch, Denise. I promise. Here comes another one. This is from, I think this is from Esther Bethke. My address label is ripped off, but check this out, you guys. A star is born. This is for Aww. baby Val. What? How cute is that? Oh, my gosh. This is a twist and pop card, you guys. We've made these before. They are the coolest, right? Look at all that coloring on there with all that baby. And, yes, this is from Esther Bethke. Esther, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Then we have another, look at this gorgeous card from Regina Smith. Yes, beautiful. Inside is decorated also. Regina, thank you so much. She's congratulating me on my beautiful grandbaby. Thank you. She is gorgeous. Not going to lie. So this weekend, you guys, well, I'll, I'll keep going and I'll flip the camera around and chat with you for a little bit. We had, we had a really fun little few days here. Mm -hmm. All right, this is from Watersville. Oh my lord, what country is this from? Canada! <laughs> Watersville, Canada. Okay, look at this beautiful card. Look at how pretty this is. Da, da, da. Wanda Spencer made this beautiful card. Yeah, gorgeous Wanda. And then, look at how cute this is. Look at... This is... <gasps> wow. Got a little baby crab. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Super, super cute for the baby. So I didn't even I didn't even show this one to Haley yet. It so. has gold on it. It has gold on it. Her favorite gold. She loves the gold. Look at how she did this. So so pretty. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm glad you're here so I can. Pass this over to you. Thank you. Here you so go. Cute. And Wanda, I read your letter. Thank you so much for this amazingly beautiful card. Thank you. 
My gosh, you guys, I think we're going to get through all this mail, but I know I have more mail and we might not get through that. Oh, look how cute this is. This is from Felicity Dag. And um, it's a congratulations for the grandbaby. Look at how cute that is. I love this poppy set, right? Here's a card. Whoops. Here's a card for the baby. And how cute is this? Look at how she used these squares, Haley. Wow. Yeah, I really like that a lot. That is super cute. I so, and this was for thing. Haley and Jared. They saw this before. But yeah, I love this. Okay, so that's from Felicity. Then we have another one here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many people are still watching me. You guys are wonderful. And this one is from Terry Mullinax thanking me for the notebooks again. Mm. Oh, and this is from Dina's Double Wonder Card layout. I love that. Very, very cool. Thank you. This is really pretty. Next, we're going to go with a card from Valerie Albanese. Ooh, what a beautiful name. <laughs> Haley just said, woo, what a beautiful name. Look at how pretty that is. I love, love, love this. And again, a beautiful thank you card. Thank you so much for your message too, Valerie. I really appreciate it. She did the envelope. Yay! Oh, I shouldn't be showing people's addresses. Well, you can't see that one anyways. Then I got this from my team member and friend, Jay Shante. Oops, hang on. And she won a stamp set. She's one of my team members. And at our last team meeting, she won a stamp set. So she's sending me a thank you card for that. Beautiful card, Jay. I love that Bumblebee set. Then we have another one here from... Stephanie Wilson. Look how gorgeous that is. So, so pretty. I love the way she used the Settles folder and then kind of put some color on the edges here, right? Look at the, how pretty that inside is, too. She's just thanking me for all the videos. You are most welcome. All of you are most welcome. It was my pleasure to do a run on videos like that. I think we all needed a little break from the insanity, right? Look how pretty this is. This is from Susan Hein. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Love this. And here is another absolutely beautiful card. And a little bookmark. And a nice little note that I read. So, very, very cool. I love this paper, right? That was so fun. Okay. And, okay, you guys, we're down. This is second to last. Another thank you card. This is from Lois Fireherm. I think I said your last name right, Lois, because I remember when I, you, you, you print, you typed it out in a pronunciation. Fireherm. I think I got it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Um... Oh, the Tropical Oasis card pack. Lois got that. So you are very welcome, Lois. Thank you for this beautiful card. I love the simplicity of this. It's a very simple card, I but you're really featuring the um, designer series paper here, and I love that. Like I like this layout. We might do a layout challenge with this. We'll see. It's very simple, but yet very beautiful. And next we have Wendy Sue Winter. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. These are those new hoops and that new um, greenery bundle. Oh my gosh, let me see. Oh, Haley loves the hoops. Oh, I love. I think I showed you this when I opened it. Love, love, love. And she's just sending me some happy mail. So how sweet is she? Yeah, very, very cool. Thank you so much, Wendy. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so... Haley, will you put these in the box next to you with the door prizes so I don't get them mixed in with all my stuff? I think I have, oh, I got one more small box over here, you guys, and then we have covered all of it. So I am going to keep plowing through. Check this out. I was really excited. This sits on the edge of your desk like this, and then you have a little scrap bag. And I think Haley is going to 
love this. I have a big trash bag by me, but I think Haley's going to love this over by her because she her trash isn't as easily accessible as mine is. No, but it's where all my scraps are that I need. <laughs> but it's where all the scraps are that I threw away. I'm so sorry. I was trying to be efficient. So this cute little bag comes to me from Joanne Whitaker. Hang on. I think. No, wait. Hang on. Donna McCammy. Oh, I almost blew it. There's a card in here someplace. Here it is. Here it is. So she sent this cute little baby card for Val. Look at how cute that is. So blessed to hear about baby Val. Hope she can fit these clothes soon. And she sent two outfits that Haley grabbed right away and took home. Adorable. So Donna, way to go. She loved them. And then, let's see. I got sour patches. And you know what? I know. Haley's like, whoa. I've never had the extreme sour ones. So whoa. we're going to give those a whirl. So thank you. This is just so thoughtful. So appreciated. My goodness. And here are the... This is so pretty, isn't it? Haley, set that right over on your edge over there. Careful, it's heavy. It's like a bean bag on one end. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness. This is totally cool. So it opens up like this. And then it goes like this. Look at how neat that is. Wow. This is from Robin Stewart. She said, I saw this card and thought it is a new design, so I made one. The one I saw, the DSP was different on each side, but made mine about the same. Very, very cool. I love this. This is really unique. So, you open it up like that. Love it. You guys know I love a fun fold. That's from Robert Robin Stewart. And then, this is from Lois Fireherm, friend, and she's thanking me for all of my videos. You are so sweet and so very welcome. Look at how pretty that is. I love, love, love to this paper. And then, we have another one here. This is really, really pretty. Hang on, I can't get it open. This is from Wendy Dernbach. Wendy just joined my team. She says, thanks so much for the Tags and Bloom stamp set. She's excited she won them and excited about being on my team. So very pretty card. I, I love this stamp set, right? It's so mm -hmm. pretty. Okay, then hang on because I got some in plastic here. Now, these are from Joanne Whitaker. Let's see if Kelly Atchison can open them. Oh my lord. I did not open these yet. Holy cow. Okay, so we've got a pretty envelope here. <gasps> Look at she did. The, oh, this is for Haley and Jared. Haley, I'm opening your mail. Okay. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Congratulations so on the safe arrival of your beautiful little daughter, Valerie. A precious little bundle of joy who is already loved so much. Oh. So cute. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. That Here. the theme of our nursery. Yeah, and it matches the theme of the nursery. So way to go, Joanne. Joanne is from New Zealand. So these came from a long ways away. Let me see if I can get it out of the packaging. There we go. Pretty, pretty. And oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just so elegant. Haley, look at You're going to love the gold. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. She just wanted to say thanks, and I'm going to read this. I have not read this yet. I'm going to set this one over to the side so I can read it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards, you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody is so sweet, kind, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to flip this back around. Don't get sick on me. Here I come. So, thank you guys so much for the mail. I hope you guys like going through the mail. There's a lot of people that hang around for it, so I figure people must like it, right? This weekend, 
well, I shouldn't say this weekend, like Thursday, Friday, we went to my mom's house and we went shopping for flowers at the Amish greenhouses. That was super duper fun. And Haley and I and Val slept in my summer home, which I'm now calling the Wildwood Resort because that's And my camper is a Wildwood camper. And so resort seems fitting. We slept in the camper. So then as soon as I got home, I told Steve that I would like him to go and get my camper and bring it home. Is he going to? And put it in the driveway. And he goes, why? And I said, because I slept in it overnight and now I want to go camping. <laughs> so I said, we can go to Sherwood, which isn't too far from here. We can also go just north of Kukon and there's a camp campground there. And I just would like to go camping. Yes. Right? And Haley's like, yay! So, I um, want him to go get my camper now, please. My summer home needs to be here. <laughs> Anyways, we went and bought a ton of flowers at the Amish greenhouses. You guys would just drop over at the prices. So, I have this great big, and I mean, it's like, it's like this big hanging plant. 20 bucks. This big. 20 bucks. Their stuff is so inexpensive. So now I got to plant flowers. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Did I miss any questions? I can't keep up with everything. <laughs> Haley's been making cards, so she hasn't been paying attention either. Oh, you're welcome. The masculine cards. I know. People usually like masculine cards, right? And somebody just said run. Oh no, it says fun. I'm like, no, I don't run. No. <laughs> if I run, you need to run too. Something's happening. <laughs> mm. Lisa wants us to come up and camp by them in Sturgeon Bay. We might do that. Mm. You never know. Um, Somebody just said something about you need your summer home. I do need my summer home, right? Lots of great camping in the UP. Yes, there is, but it's also cold up there. <laughs> So, um, Cheryl, go back and check out the beginning. I didn't horse around too much in the beginning because I wanted to show you guys all the cards and then I did all the mail at the end here. So, yeah. All right. Can you show the cards? Oh, I can show you the cards. Are you talking about the cards that we made tonight? Like this one? What? Beautiful. Matching envelope. Ooh. Yeah, I like making funny noises in case you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. See how she talks to Val. Yeah, should see how I talk to that baby. Mm -hmm. You guys would think I'm a lunatic. Here's the next one. Okay, so this is using the world something or another suite. Um, it's escaped me, and I don't know where it is now. Uh, who knows? It's it's called world something. World of good, I think. Here's another one. How pretty. These look really spectacular in the camera, yes. I might add. Yeah. And then here is the Whiskey Business. Yeah. Love this. Good old fashions. This would make a great birthday card. Um, I've got the Father's Day greeting on the inside there. Not quite sure because Steve doesn't deserve a card. We talked about that too. Oh, that was mean, wasn't it? I got a little mean streak in me. Haley said, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a little mean. Okay, you guys, if I missed anything, please feel free to message me. I, I hate missing stuff, but um, I got to get off of here because I think I got to pay too much information. Maybe. Just keeping it real, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You guys need to get back to whatever you were doing. Thank you so much for joining me. Whether you're watching me live here on Facebook, Facebook, watching me later on Facebook, or watching me on YouTube later, please click on that share button. That really helps me out. I always appreciate your orders. Join my team. Get a free bundle. You'll get all of your future orders at a discount. It's really fun. You have nothing to lose, and it is a fabulous deal. That ends at the end of um, the month. Also, when you put in an order or have a party right now that totals up to $250, you get an additional $25 in rewards. So you already get $25. You get another $25 for $50 in free product. 
It's lovely. Yeah, so, all right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday night. Make sure you head over to my blog and subscribe to it so you don't miss my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. I got some really good stuff up my sleeve and the joke of the week. Everybody needs to laugh more. Have yourselves a great Sunday. Bye-bye.